Well, under normal circumstances, um, it's a music center for education for kids to come and just explore their heart's content music. In particular, we focus in rock, pop, and country music, but a kid's interest, no matter where it lies, we want to explore that with them. COVID, for us, obviously, we had to close our facility and all of our kids would come here. We typically had somewhere between 750 to 900 kids every week coming through. And so that changed. It went from all those kids to no kids coming through. By the end of March, we kind of shifted online. We're doing online lessons now. I love it. I love teaching virtual lessons. I had no idea that it would be so fun. I love working with Irvin in this way, particularly because his sister Claudia is there and his mom and they help out. And we've actually made a lot of progress virtually. For us, it gives us structure. For Irvin, I think, Music has been a really big part of his life, so it's been really great to just, you know, still be able to do it, um, even though we're in a pandemic and can't go to classes in person. Hello, everyone, and welcome. Um, this is my student, Tessa, and she has learned a lot of really cool songs this term, and the one she's going to perform for you right now is a classic called I Can See Clearly Now. Please enjoy. I can see clearly now the rain is gone. I can see all obstacles in my way. In some ways, going online has really reduced some barriers for some folks who couldn't get down here in the middle of rush hour after school or had health issues so they might not be able to get their kid here every week and so having this opportunity just to kind of stay in this one place and use this technology that we have really uh, works really great for a lot of people. My name is Luis and I'm going to perform Hello Goodbye by the Beatles. I get to hear great performances like what we just heard from Luis. I could be having a rough day because just like, you know, being cooped up inside and then boom, I just sit on my computer and I start hearing wonderful voices. It's a little bit harder, but I think it's still lots of fun. Well, I think it is because it's interactive and I think I really enjoy drum lessons. I feel really happy when I play drums. I think it's really cool to learn them too. It's definitely been an adjustment just because I do really well with that in-person teaching. So having to basically learn a new way to explain and teach, not being able to necessarily show like physically, that's been definitely a challenge, but it's worked out really well so far. We haven't had many issues. And especially right now, Daniel has his piano set up so perfectly that I can just see it. <laughs> it's going well. Sometimes that, like the internet doesn't go well, so it's hard to do things like that. But I'm getting used to this now. And I love learning like this too. It's fun. It's extraordinarily important. Music in the best of times is so important because of its power to, to, to change lives, I think. To, to speak to the heart, to speak to the mind. There's like a release, a relief that comes from listening to music for sure and playing music just takes it to another level. It's like a meditation almost. And so having kids be able to have that practice in their lives in a challenging time, what a gift. And it's, I think it's just so crucial. It's more crucial than ever. And it brings joy, you know, it brings a, a, a little beam of light into, into the world. We need a lot of beams of light right now.